So, a combination of the extreme cold and an illness has conspired to keep me basically inside all week. Um, I haven't been completely unproductive. Um, maybe that's something you'll see in a, in a future video. But uh, I haven't really done anything of significance. Uh, let me turn this off. Hold on. Um, last video, I showed you my upgrades to my compressor. And in this video, uh, I mentioned, and I should say, in the last video, I mentioned that I would be doing uh, something with my vice in this video. It didn't work out as well as I thought. This is the piece that I cast with the screw in there. It was sitting right about there. Um, ran into some problems with that. If you look really close, I don't know if I can get the light quite right. Yeah, right. Right there, you can see there's a big uh, void all the way down. Um, not a big deal. But combined with a few other things, it is a kind of a big deal. Um, see, me being an, a kind of a moron, I put this in to the foam. I used uh, lost foam casting. Um, I just put the foam around it, and I didn't put anything actually on this to uh, prevent it from sticking. It took a little bit of effort to get it out, but I did actually get it out. If you look over here again, you can see there's a piece sticking off the wall. There's another piece right over here sticking out. It looks not so great inside. Um, when I pulled this screw out, uh, I did so with a hammer. <laughs> and essentially it stripped all the threads on the inside of that. So this piece is garbage. Uh, I'll remelt it and cast it again. What I'm going to do this time, though, is I'm going to use some uh, expanding polyurethane. Uh, and I've coated this with uh, ash from a candle. Like, I, I just hold, held it over the flame and uh, coated it. I blackened it. So hopefully, that will prevent sticking. Um, I might actually use some Teflon tape as well. I got like 400 feet of that stuff. What I'm going to do is take the uh, polyurethane and uh, just spray it on. I might put it in some sort of enclosure. Like, uh, I'll take something like this and sit it in there and then spray the polyurethane into it so it expands um, and instead of just expanding outwards it'll expand outwards hit the edge of the can and then expand back in and up so it'll actually fill all these all these little voids on the screw so that's where I'm at with that get this video posted as soon as possible because it's like three days late and uh, hopefully you'll see finished part next week next video I should say um, you guys have yourselves a good day